Cattle family. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these uh, two chickens I got for such a great deal at uh, Walmart. Uh, they were trying to get, um, oh, it might have been Croker, it doesn't matter. And so um, I had to get them cooked and I said, well, how in the world? I want to do them both. I don't want them separately. So this is what I'm doing. I've gotten my pressure cooker out and it's all clean and I'm going to uh, pressure my chickens and also make yummy broth. So this is what I have prepared. I prepared four carrots and I cut them in half. I took the ends off. I have four stalks and just cut them in half and I have two onions that I just put in half and I'm just going to put them in there. Now if you want to put garlic and other things because what I'm really making this for is broth. I really want to have um, some good broth, the carrots and all these things are just going to make that broth yummy and um, of course all this will be strained out and I'll have chicken on top of that and it's going to be all flavored. Um, I'm going to put in water up over the top and I'm going to um, salt it. Of course that's, that's totally up to you if you want salt. Um, but uh, just have to cover it um, if I can find my salt. Here it is. I use sea salt. Um, exclusively I use sea salt. So Okay, just put that in there because um, it'll flavor the chicken and everything. So now I'm going to cover it with filtered water. Uh, we use a Berkey filter and we just fill that right up. Perfect. And I might have a little bit more in there. It's not quite covering all those butts there. Okay. And the more we have, the more broth we're going to have at the end of the day. Now I will take this, put it on the burner, um, and pressure cooker it and when it comes up to temperature for 90 minutes. And then I'm just going to let it die down after I turn off the heat. Now I'm going to take this out to my, I have an outside porch, uh, well outside kitchen my husband has made me. And um, it's just... Uh, wonderful out there. I don't have to have the heat in the kitchen. I live in the south and that's very important. And so I have propane. Um, I use a, sh a really nice equipment. I'll show you that when I pull that out. So anyway, that's it and I'll get back to you when it's all done. I wanted to show you my outside kitchen and this is my the burners. As you can see, um, I have two of them. I love this. Um, we bought this uh, last year, this is um, by Camp Chef, and why I like this, um, this two burner propane is because I can set two very large kettles or pots or, um, and here's the uh, pressure cooker, and I'm doing the chicken in that, uh, this is Pioneer is the company. And I said I'm out I'm in my outside kitchen and propane and the two things you do have to buy are the side and I wouldn't you really need to have the side and it also uh, tables or whatever they call and then it also flips over and protects the burners themselves. There's my water uh, canner and the other side and as I said when you don't use it you flip it over and it protects them. The other two other two things you have to get are unless you want to do and I and I didn't like that so I chose to do that is to buy these igniters. Now you can use you know your your own candle whatever you want to do lighter but um, and here's the second one. I think they're both about seven dollars a piece. Um, we happen to get this one this camp chef um, at ca the academy. We have a an academy near us, outdoor store. Anyway, um, we just we just love it. I use it all the time. I have diffusers underneath. Let me take this off. Try and do this without not jiggling it too much. And I have this. No, oh, that's 
that's my dehydrator. I've got my coffee. See, I have a small one. Let me get this. Sorry for all the things. Where I I boiled my water for my my uh, French coffee press, and then this uh, is a larger diffuser. I put under these larger pots. It's about the same size as the. You'll see that. Oh, this is smelling so good. Okay, so now the. Um, I don't know if you can see it. But I'm about ready to put the regulator on. It's been uh, burping or steaming here for 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do that. Um, and you can see the steam, hopefully, coming out. And so this is for my area. I have a 10-pound. So I'll stick that on. And as soon as that starts rocking, then I'll start counting uh, 90 minutes. And then we should... Uh, let it go down naturally and to cool off because it knows it's in a hurry. But I'm going to have some wonderful chicken bone broth as well as yummy, yummy chicken. So this is my setup here. Now if you've seen my other videos, um, and I'll pan around this way. Right next to it over here, I have my grill that I bake my bread, I bake all my baking goods in because I use my Dutch ovens and um, this is a professional or commercial series as you can see there and this is and it has a burner on the side this is all propane you probably have one of these and then here is where and I do have some fire bricks here because I do use those in some instances. And then uh, I have four burners there. So it, this, this thing can create a really hot oven that you, you need or, or want. And um, so you have to watch my other videos and how I bake bread and pizza and all that using my, um, this grill or this is my oven, this propane. And um, I'll show you more of my out door kitchen my husband um, set up for me made benches and things um, it's hot live in the south and so I uh, I do a lot of canning and put this back down I do a lot of uh, work out here and I don't want that heat in the kitchen because it runs my air conditioners Ugh, yeah so that's my thing is top is about ready to pop up and when that goes we'll probably have another 20 minutes before it starts. Okay, we'll come back when it's all ready. Yum yum. I wish you could smell this. Woo. Okay, here we are. We're just um, taking it out of, of the um, and I want you to see how wonderful this is. And boy, you know, they say smell a vision. I wish they'd have it. And there you can see it's been in there for an hour. Uh, hour and a half, 90 minutes, and it's all just, we'll strain all this out, and um, it's still bubbling away, so good. And we'll strain it and see how many quarts of uh, broth, and of course the chicken, we'll have, maybe have chicken noodle soup or chicken dumpling soup, something. Anyway, we'll be back in a minute. I wanted to show you the results of my two chicken and, and all the beautiful chicken bone broth that was there. I got five quarts out of that and all this chicken but that wasn't all the chicken I made tur tur uh, chicken tetrazzini for lunch everybody loved it that's what's left over so you know half of it was they've eaten so anyway this is the fastest way in an hour and a half you can have all of these things and the broth was heated up enough so I just put it in there and they sealed right away so enjoy and um, if you have any questions or comments just put them down below Bye. Till later.